It's outrageous. It's arrogant. It's excessive. It's larger than life. It's relentless. Flash Viking. Welcome to the second special episode of Relentless Flashbacking. This is your misogynistic host, Joey Cruel, and tonight I'll talk about an interesting discovery. What do you think when I say Florence? Art. 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 Of course, but I also think about the fact that this city got all the problems but not the benefits of bigger cities. One of them is traffic. Check this ranking. Florence is at the 10th place. I still got PTSD. I can be at home watching the ceiling. And then I'm back in my car. I don't know what I have to do. I'm always standing still in my metal coffin. And there are cars swirling from all the sides. I lost my best friend in that goddamn jungle, you know? I'm sorry. What I was talking about? Oh yes. Besides some issues, Florence is fascinating. And you should visit this stunning city. And there is also another reason. Look what I found. Yes, it's a blockbuster. For all the people that don't know what a blockbuster is, let me explain what it was. Blockbuster was founded in 1985 and it was a video rental service that left a mark in the 80s and in the early 90s, renting VHSs, video games and then DVDs and you can even rent a VCR. One of the characteristics was that they refused to have adult films, so it was really family friendly. It was one of the largest chains with 9,000, yes, 9,000 stores throughout the world. The internet era disintegrated a chain so huge without mercy. Blockbuster resisted until 2013 and then closed down and entered the world of nostalgia and melancholy. Why do I consider Blockbuster so important? Well, because it's a sign of better times, where people had a physical place to go, where there are real items and where you can meet real people. Now the people are just sitting on the couch for the rest of the day, just staring at the smartphone, because everything is reachable with a touch and when they are forced to go out what they do they keep staring at the smartphones they are called smartphone zombies because most of the people are hopelessly addicted but let's go back in time let's visit the last surviving blockbusters I promised to myself to not talk, to let the video do the talking, but I am in a place that I thought I wouldn't be in never again. It's like a time travel, I can't even touch it, it's not a dream, it's real. Maybe it was all a nightmare, and it's 1988 and not 2018. After the first one, to my surprise, I discovered that there is another blockbuster in Florence. I entangled myself in traffic just to show it to you.
in the second blockbuster they even got the caramel popcorn, still branded with the blockbuster name. It's amazing! And when they saw the look in my eyes, they gave it to me for free. I know, it's just a bag of popcorn, but it got a lot of meanings to me. Thank you so much! So why they are still here? I ask it to the owners and the reason is simple, a lot of passion. They love it blockbuster and they don't want to give up, so they keep fighting, that's the 80s way of life. So when you'll be in Florence, please visit these blockbusters and try to find something to buy to support their fight. In the first blockbuster I bought this DVD and I searched for something in the second one but I wasn't lucky. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and please follow Relentless Flashbacking on Facebook and Instagram. See you next time, stay outrageous, stay larger than life, Romeo, Foxtrot, bravo!